Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on subtracting whole numbers using a written method with borrowing. And this is the second video on subtraction where we're now going to use this method of borrowing which I will explain. Now in the previous video we saw how we can subtract numbers by something called column subtraction. So what we do is we just write each number one row to each number. So we've got 3, 5, 4, minus 26. And remember that we line up the numbers, we push them to the right. So if you imagine there's a line there, we're going to push the numbers here so that these units digits are in the same column and to the rightmost of the number. Now, we saw from the previous video that we look at the rightmost column first and do the subtraction. So we want to do 4 minus 6. But the problem is, is we're subtracting a bigger number from a smaller number. So what we have to do is we have to borrow from the next column to the left, so the tens column. So what we can do is we can sacrifice one of these tens here, so just to the left of that four, we can sacrifice one. So we're going to reduce these five tens to four tens, so that goes down by one. And that gives us an extra 10 to the right. So we've borrowed a 10 from here, which means we've got an extra 10 here. So if 4 goes up by 10, it's now 14. So just to repeat what we do here, we cross out the number to the left, reduce it by 1, and then we can put a little 1 here. So now we've got 14 minus 6, which we can do. 14 minus 6 is 8. And now look to the column to the left. We've got 4 minus 2. Yes, we can do that. So that is 2. And then look to the column to the left. In the hundreds column, 3 minus nothing is just still 3. What about this second example? So again, I do column subtraction. And we've got minus 5, 7, 9, making sure that the units digits are lined up on the right. Now, we try to do 0 minus 9 in the rightmost column. We can't do that. So we're going to have to borrow from that digit to the left. However, there's nothing to borrow there. That's a 0. So in this scenario, we're going to have to borrow from the 1 left of that. So we're going to borrow here. That 1 gets reduced by 1 to 0. And remember, that allows us to put a 1 on the number to the right. So we've now got 10 here. Now, because we've got 10 here, we can now borrow from this because we need to get a 1 here. So we borrow from this by crossing out the 10 and putting a 9. And because we borrowed 1 from this, we can now put a 1 here. So we've now got 10 minus 9. We can do that. 10 minus 9 is 1. And then look to the column to the right. We've now got 9 minus 7, which is 2. And now we've got 0 minus 5. Now we can't do that, so we can borrow from the digit just to the left of that top digit there. So that 2 gets reduced by 1 to 1, and that allows us to put a 1 on that digit there. So now we've got 10 minus 5, which is 5. And then finally we've got 1 minus nothing, which is just 1. And that is the final answer.